guys, welcome back to Crusader Kings 3. So, the DLC finally released and today we're starting a new campaign. So let's begin. So as you might have noticed, I choose Toulouse for this one. Which is a French Dutch chief, I recall. Let load. So, Toulouse is right here. Oh, the king. All right. Toulouse. So we'll start as Duke Guillem of Toulouse, which is 19 years old. He's a Catholic. And this is a duchy, like I said. Let's start it. All right. So before I begin, just want to quickly say something about it. I took a look at the DLC only today, this morning, for about an hour, so um, this will probably be like a, a blind playthrough, so bear with me, please. If you see anything that uh, I haven't noticed or I don't know about, please let me know. Feel free to let me know, and I'll change uh, the way I play. So, the first episode will probably be just uh, me going, uh, going around, just checking my situation, Looking at the new stuff that we have in the DLC and stuff like that, stuff like that. Just prepare myself. So if you if you don't like this early parts where you just go through all, all of the tabs and stuff like that, you probably just check out the, the second video. So let's begin. So first of all, we are the Guillem of Toulouse, 19 years old. We are humble, you know, siege of legion vassals. We are brave, cynical, and we are flamboyant trickster. So he's only uh, 19 years old, so his stat isn't so great, though he seems to be going towards stewardship and intrigue. Um, my mother is still alive. And I've got a whole lot of siblings. Half-brother, half-brother, half-sister. And they all do seem to like me, that's good. I've got a claim on the county of Quercy. And my titles are the Duchy of Toulouse and the County of Toulouse. <laughs> and in this campaign, I'm uh, since I'm playing a French character, I won't have a uh, I won't have as much problem as I did with the the, <laughs> the Prussian camping. Since I'm a nat native French speaker, so let's begin. Let's take a look at the a look at the realm. Come to Toulouse, its castle. We've got a couple of buildings already: Hunter's Lodge, Crop Fields, High Tents. Oops. We've got a thousand soldier in our disposal. We're Catholic, and my culture is Occitan, Frankish written, Duck Vulga language. So, in this campaign, what I would like to do is two things. If we take a look at this one. Okay, so this, uh, we'll, we'll go over it uh, later on. Yeah, this is what I wanted to talk about. In this in this um, camping, I would like to get the the equal gender. Which would make things uh, more interesting, I think. We'll have something different. What I'm aiming for is uh, equal inheritance, maybe aiming towards the eldest. If possible, so that means that... My first child will be the one inheriting everything I have. So, um, either be a male or female, so that will be interesting. And secondly, as you can see, you can mix, if, you, if you're if uh, you aware, with the new DLC, you can mix your, uh, your culture. And I would like to get some of uh, uh, Spain 
culture inside of my own. So we'll try to expand south eventually. Okay, military wise, we've got a couple of levies, we've got men at arms, light footmen. In jungle, in forest, pikeman, armored footman, sounds good enough. We've got a decent fighter here, maybe we should recruit him. We've got a, ooh, 25, that's a lot. For 13 prowess? Nah, I don't think so. No, yeah, that is. These ones are shit. That's okay. Okay, cancel. This one is uh, complete rubbish. Who is he? My half brother, Marshall and Vassal. Is he good at anything? Ooh, he's an excellent steward. This one is good as well. Maybe we should trade place. I know that eight is not that much, but. Your player hair, brother and vassal. Stuart and vassal. I guess the Count Remo de of Rouergue could be a good one. Skill tactician, military engineer. This guy's gotta go. Let me just things out so this dude is the it's the count of Uze and Montpellier and what about the other dude this one so he's the so he's the um, the count of this place for a seat well we've got a one holding on five. Alright, let's trade him out for this dude, if possible. It's only eight. Let's wipe them. Eleven, eleven. This one is a vassal, so we'll leave them here. Carcassonne. Say hello to the faint chantress for me, please. And the bishop, we, can sh we can't change it, so we'll leave it like that. Alright. So, with the new DLC, if you go to the court tab, now we have a lot of position. So, court physician, antiquary. Well, court physician was already there. But we now have antiquarian, court tutor, initial, court jester, bodyguard, personal champion, food taster. And so on and so on. Uh, I won't name them all. So right now we can't we can't have any of these starting from proof they start from down because we don't have a royal court. To have a court, you need to be a king or an emperor. We are already feudal, so we just need to get a kingdom going. And um, nothing in intrigue, nothing in affection. Decision. So I could found a new kingdom. Can I? France would need to be a um, an empire, I think, if I need to do that. That's it. I'm not an independent ruler. For now, we'll just try to expand, basically. See where things go. So you can now formally pledge homage to your king, which I uh, think gives you um, prestige. You can petition the liege to help you with something. Find... Doyle Vulgar Teaching. Recruit someone to teach your liege court's language.
Oh, because I'm dog vulgar language. So I could try to learn the language of the kingdom and maybe uh, maybe that, that will make things easier. King Philip. Start the research. Unless the search for a Doyle Vulgar linguist has come to fruition, the candidates have been presented in front of me, each of them carrying their own expertise in foreign language. So Julien, Julien, this lady here, is a renowned Doyle Vulgar linguist. She will become a court tutor, and I start learning the language from her. A skeleton will do the job. Yeah, she seems to be... Uh, that's a whole lot of money, though. I'm making... Uh, good money, I guess. Alright. As usual, you start unmarried, so we'll deal with this re already. Gwynedd. County of Evreux. So nice. Besançon. But yeah, Gwynedd is in uh, is in England. I would prefer someone in France if possible. So Evreux is right here. Oh, Besançon Buz is part of the Holy Roman Empire. So the one from Evreux, let's take a look at her. This one, she, oh Shast, that's not good. I want children. So this one is not good enough. Don't know why. Britannian, she's Breton. Like so, it's this one. Mm, that, that could be a good idea. She, he's got more troops than I do. Was this one humble, fickle, generous? There's no inheritable inner, trait, but she do seem like a decent woman. We gain an alliance, which uh, this dude have the similar strength. Send a proposal to him. So he's got an intrigue education, so that means I get more experience with this lifestyle, but do I really want to? I could go with Dread, Intimidation, Focus, and really put uh, Iron Fist down and get everything in order. Go this way. You accepted? Good. We are now married to Duchesse Hermenga Hermengard of Toulouse. With, the mar with my marriage, the realm expects us to throw a suitable, extravagant wedding celebration as well. Within my right to collect a royal aid duty as part of this, but some may consider it tasteless to live an extra tax during a time of jubilation. Of course I will collect it. Who pays for their own wedding, right? <laughs> I'll let my, uh, my subjects enjoy the festivities without worry or care. Prestige is really good. Okay. Anything else we need to take a look at? Here's the court physician, but we don't have any more money, so let's wait for this. I can create the Duchy of Languedoc. 
and I could keep it for myself. All I need is uh, 250 gold, so I'll wait for this. Obviously, I don't have a choice. Greetings, my amicable vassal. Good tidings, I have decided to make Count Gilbert of Givodan your vassal. What? Well, thank you, sir. Holy shit, that is a good start. <laughs> Alright, we're getting some, uh, some ground. He kinda likes us. Getting into a conflict with Aquitaine would be my downfall. So... Okay, this will end... I don't know why it's considered a scheme, to be honest. Learning a language. War the clown will unleash. King Philip is being attacked by Comte Geoffroy. Geoffroy of Anjou. So, uh, can I offer to join war? I can. Goes closer to forming a friendship with you. Work against the tyranny of King Fib. How can he be... How can he be a tyrant? He's, uh, he's 15 years old. He's bossy, but... He's just humble. Brave. What is this? That's treachery. Let's go fight some Anjou bastards. France must stay united. So while the king is, uh, okay, running back home, I guess. This is outbreak. Ugh. So that's for a little bit. The king will deal with that. Siege one faction created against you. Count Raymond create the faction to install Count Raymond of Rouergue on the Toulousian throne. Hmm. Let's bother about this later. Let's finish the war first. Pregnancy. Fate smiles upon me. My wife, Duchess Ermangarn, is bearing a child. And I get some gr some gold from it. That's good. We need it. Learn language. Libertine liber literature. As I'm reading loudly from the Doel Vulgar book that Julien sent me a while back, I notice a whole host of servants snickering at me. Please don't stop reading the servants giggle. He was just about to show his amorous lips. We need to know if the Duke and this scholarly maid end up together or if their tolerance gets between them again. Am I reading something lewd? By the blood. <laughs> Skin power. That could be good. And we got plenty of prestige. Victory. He's in prison. Let's my troops. 
The right to rule to lose belongs to me by divine right. I finally have the means to make it so. Accept this fact. So this bastard is trying to... Uh... Oh, let's be careful. Let's slow down a little bit. Stuart is gone, I guess he died. Or was it the... Uh... Oh, I think it's the one that just uh, rebelled on me. Freaking bastard. This one is the Chancellor. Uh, I mean, he's decent. Your commander and knight. Boss on the Comborn. I guess he's decent enough. Yeah, he's the better chancer that we have. Oh, I've, hang on, I've got a got an idea. Yeah, let's put the the spy master like this, and use wrestling knight. This one. Yeah, as the the new uh, spy master, it's not good, but we are not at in a war. I guess we're. Uh, all alone in this. What we need is to cut them down and not let them uh, get together. I guess that's what they'll do. I don't think this battle will go well. My injured knight. My knight boss, huh? It's been wounded and Deidre runs deep. Yeah, there's nothing I can do about it. Hang on a second. Uh, where is... Can you help me out? You accepted. What's the battle? My allies are coming, that's good. Okay, so my first is a daughter, Madalena, that's good. Let's see how you defend yourself now, you piece of shit. So again is uh is Marshall. Yeah, yeah. 
I don't know what's going on here. Again! <laughs> Stop getting wounded, you, you idiot. He forces capture Elias, the knight of your brother. He's my brother. He's my half-brother, I think. What a piece of shit. Port level is too high. Well, let's defeat their army then. Learning Doyle Vulgar is hard. Really hard. I feel like there's no more room in my head. It's full. As soon as one more enters my mind, another one falls into the abyss of forgetfulness. I struggle with every lesson. I'm making no progress whatsoever. Perhaps I need a break. Yeah, sometimes you need a break. Or against a lot of stress. Now nah, persevere. So again, another one. And this one is not too high enough, that's good. So we'll try to regroup, that's okay. Success! After lots of hard work, I finally learned the Doyle Vulgar language. Endless hours practicing accentuation, sleepless night mimicking inflection. Countless lessons, mastering intonation. It was all worth in the end. During my effort, I looked to emulate Julien's accent. I am sure that she will be impressed with my result. And of course, French peasants now respect me a great deal more. I feel accomplished. Force demands. Okay. Let's take a look at the prisoners. So I took his son. No, I guess not. So this one is the piece of shit that I declared war on us. Count Jourdain of Courcy, I guess. No, it's Count Raymond of Rouergue. He's my brother. I should fucking kill him for this. Count Raymond is a known criminal. Revolted against me, allowing you to execute him without being viewed as a tyrant. I spend fate, which, uh, well, piety, which I don't have. Oh, I got Kingslayer. What if I torture him? I gain a secret. And if I put it into the dungeon, fingering is close, very. I don't care. I cannot revoke tile because I have the limited crown authority, which we'll need to fix as soon as possible. I should do it right now, I think. So now it come to pass. That means I can now. 
revoke the county of Ruerk. Countryman is a non criminal, so not a, ty not a tyrant. So now I got the county of Ruerk, which I will give it to one of my vassal that has been. Loyal to me. Sorry, I was thinking at the same time. Room size 2, 2, 2. This one is a powerful vessel. All right, this one is not a is not a powerful lord. I'll give it the the county. So this dude fucking hates us now. <laughs> I probably should just move into the dungeon and uh, be done with it. Anything else I need to worry about? This one. This one is a nobody. He was just probably following his lord, so I guess I could release him. He's a lowborn, he's no one. The two counts are the ones that are... that I won't release, basically. They were probably his, uh, his marshal and stuff like that. They fought well, so... give them their freedom back. I think this would be a good spot to end the first episode, so guys, I thought that this would be a relatively calm episode, but it turns out that I went into two wars. <laughs> but we managed to uh, straight up these things a little bit here, so uh, everything should be more quiet in the future. So guys, I hope you enjoy it, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care, guys.